I always had like a struggle kind of about saying the word baby in songs. And this is kind of like that. Like I called my girlfriend baby, but before I met her, I was not calling girls baby and I was saying it in songs. And I always had this like kind of inner conflict where I'm like, I'm not that dude. I'm not saying baby to girls. So why am I saying it in my music? Everybody has those summer loves. At one point in your life, like that's something that like no human escapes pretty much, like just a summer love kind of. So the song is kind of about that a little bit. When I'm writing a song, I like to think about um, a specific person because it just helps me really flush out a story that actually happened to me in my life. So this song is about my girlfriend, I guess. It's the summer and I met it again. That particular line um, was kind of like suggested to me by Joey Perp. Um, he heard the song and I was saying it's always someone and he was like, bro, you should say it's the summer. It does have that kind of like breezy summer vibe. And he was like, if you say it's the summer, that puts, that puts you in it. You instantly like, you feel that. You're like, it's the summer. She my little thing, get me out of the jam. I feel like jam is like a Chicago term. Uh, I don't know if we just think that because we think we invented everything. But that particular situation though, I feel like it's like getting out of the jam with myself almost. Like having like a person you know, you, you love and admire um, to help you through all your problems and stuff like that. Do your little thing, put it all in the air, show me something. Cause they don't need to know what we do. And the heat coming from the sand. It makes me feel we're doing it all over again. The heat from the sand is you're at the beach and you're just like, oh man, it's that time of year again. Just that feeling of like your, the bottom of your feet burning up on the sand. Cause it's hot out and it's dark inside. Days like this remind me being with you, being with you. And I might fake or play pretend. And I might say the same things over again, but I'm always down to turn around and put it all back together, together with you, together with you. I repeat things all the time on accident, like I have amnesia, like it's horrible. I always will tell stories five to six times over and over and my friends will be like, bro, you just said this story two days ago. And well, I know that you mean well. Sometimes it feels I'm getting away from myself. Sometimes you just get lost in the sauce, if you will. Especially in the summer in Chicago, there's about a whole month in August where that's when my birthday is, where it's just going crazy all month. And it's very, very easy to get away from myself. It's the little things that make me blue, the rainy days in Malibu. I worked at uh, Rick Rubin's Shangri-La studio for like an extended period with my friend Tokyo. We went there maybe like three or four times over the span of last year. It was pouring rain for like three days straight and I was like, what the hell is this? Are you serious? It's raining in Malibu, I just left winter in Chicago to get some sunshine and now we're in Malibu and it's raining? What the hell? Staying later after school and hanging up my calls with you. I don't think kids actually use their phone to call people anymore. <laughs> I think that's kind of like an ancient thing. You know, everybody hated saying later after school. That's the worst feeling when they're like, Kevin Romberg, that's my real name, Kevin Romberg. Like, you have to stay after school for detention or whatever. That's the worst feeling in the world. And even when I'm insecure, holding close all of the nights that were pure, we were just 19, alive and new. My heart can't keep from beating, it does it for you. Ooh, does it for you, up what I do. I think I must have actually said like, my heart can't keep it beating. Just like on some cheesy romantic type of thing. Like, cause I like, I'm like, I'll be funny like that. I won't say that sincerely ever. Like that is not me. That probably came from a kind of like corny, sincere part of me. 